morning. Welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Erica Jane. I like to make a ton of random videos, anything from homemaking, natural recipes, renovations, packing, really anything I'm interested in or doing at the time, I will probably make a video on. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you stick around. Let's just jump right into today's video. It is going to be a little bit of a low key day, but also there's some things that I do want to get done around the house. Um, specifically, I want to clean our washing machine. We just got it officially hooked up and it, we bought it used off to Gigi. So I just want to give it a good interior clean because there is a bit of a musty smell to it. Um, just to kind of freshen it up before we throw our clothes in. So I'll probably do that this morning. Um, have some dishes to do. A little bit of a pile from last night. Actually not that many, like a few plates really. Um, and then I don't know if we'll do a ton of baking or like cooking really today. Um, my period's gonna start soon, so I'm definitely feeling tired. Um, I would make a coffee here now and then. <laughs> see where the morning leads us. It's just after, it's 10.01, 10.01 on the dot on Wednesday morning. So we'll see what we get up to today. The washing machine is the main priority. Um, and then who knows, maybe we'll even be able to do a load of laundry. So stay tuned. So here are my dishes, not a ton, for you to put away. I just saw the bunny right here, but he was right under the bed. Oh, all right. 
Here is the washing machine, and people said to put like baking soda in it and then run vinegar through it. And there is actually a tub clean setting, so. Okay, washing machine is officially on the clean cycle. Definitely very aware that it's on, and I'm definitely going to be checking, making sure nothing has leaked, because this is where it has leaked before. Connor replaced the valve, so, so it should be okay, but we don't know what the like internal pipes are like, so knock on wood, test it out. That's all we can do. So that's going. My coffee is done. 
think it might be a good day to like go through some of this stuff in the fridge because there's just a lot of like random leftovers that might be good to switch into the freezer at this point and then there's like some stale sourdough I could maybe turn into some breadcrumbs just like random things like that that could be beneficial for the kitchen so I think that's might that's might that might be what I do next definitely getting tired it's definitely <laughs> so we'll do what we can and forget the yeah it's kind of fun it's like an old KitchenAid fridge which I didn't even know KitchenAid made fridges I guess that makes sense but yeah, I'm gonna start by just taking things out that I can freeze and make in a pile lemon bars um Those are still good. Good. It's actually kind of still look good too. All right. Can't buy bars. And since I know my period's gonna hit, I'm gonna put the sourdough starter in the fridge just so I don't have to feed it every day. Hey, we got some furry guests. We're pointing to. I named them Chip and Dale. <laughs> Chip and Dale. Ch -ch -ch Chip and Dale. Rescue Rangers. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> I forgot. I wanted to make more cookie dough, so some butter out now as well for that
So making breadcrumbs is kind of a new thing for me, but it's quite simple. So all I do is get my stale sourdough and I'm just going to cut it into like little cubes, put it on a baking sheet, sheet. <laughs> put it on a baking sheet for probably like 15 to 20 minutes between like 375 and 425 depending on your oven. Our oven is quite hot so I'm going to do it on the lower end and just kind of roast them until they're like crispy and then let them cool for a little bit and then throw them in your blender and you can either like put spices on when you're roasting them or just like as you're blending them. So I'll probably put them on to roast and I find it gets a better flavor when you have breadcrumbs. impressed though. I think it's pretty good like crumb. From what I've seen on like pictures, I don't totally know. <laughs> but practice. We'll just keep practicing. <laughs> Now, it did burn a lot of the bottom, so I might cut that off. Put it in the bowl first.
All right, breadcrumbs are done. They're in the oven. I will show you. I was trying to, I'm just trying to create more like short form content, mainly for my bakery page. Because I find I just don't post consistently. Because I don't like, I don't know. I'll post like done baked goods, but I don't like, I struggle to post with no intention to it or no like, I don't know. I can post on my main Instagram when I post a YouTube video and that's pretty much the only time I do. And it feels like there's purpose to it because it's like, here, I put out a new video. Here's a snippet, find the full one here. But on my bakery page, it feels weird. So I don't know. <laughs> Now that that's done, I'm thinking my period's gonna hit and I feel like I really should try and test out a couple more recipes before it does. Because I really need to figure out the rest of the items I need to order before because it's like a month right now. So let's just, let's just take a peek. <laughs> I'm having a really hard time too deciding like what I fully want to bake. Like I have a menu, but like I keep going back and forth on like bread and bagels because we have the professional like KitchenAid, but the dough definitely makes it work. And like by the time you're done a batch of dough, you can smell it. So I can do like a double batch. because it, it The bowl fills like eight cups of flour, I think is its max. Um, so do a double batch but that's like 12 13 bagels so that's like two six packs which isn't crazy so like is it worth it to try and do that i don't know or do i try and spread it out and see if i can like refrigerate the dough and then try it the next day like that's what's going through my head because like i made a menu i printed it out but now i'm i'm also doubting myself in terms of macarons and macarons because yes they're great and they will be like a special thing but I don't totally feel confident especially on the Swiss meringue buttercream and I don't know if I want to like push myself at that last second to like try and like try out the macarons <laughs> so like I might be better off like cost effective wise if I focus on like definitely cinnamon rolls, those are a big thing, like huge. And then I feel like big bakery style muffins filling up my little cabinet here. And then I wasn't going to focus on cookies too much, but I do think that the brown butter sourdough chocolate chip cookies are just like, they kind of stand alone, like they're a different thing. And like sourdough, brown butter, two specialty things. So I feel like those would still be popular, even if someone was selling like big like crumble style cookies with like toppings and stuff because they're still different. like it's still a different thing right <laughs> I don't know um, and then the loaves I feel like the loaves are a good idea it's like a slice like a lemon loaf slice is good I don't think it'll be for this market but I feel like selling cake slices is a good call I'm seeing a lot of like home bakers um pink crumb on Instagram she's wonderful she hosts like a she has like a baker's course like a home baker's course and she like teaches all her tips and tricks and she like has found that cake slices do better than actually selling cakes and like actual cake slices do better than like cake jars or like things like that so I kind of do research before like actually deciding but I think I'm, I'm gonna have to decide soon <laughs> so I feel like I need to finish testing the recipe so I have a better idea of what works. Like the lemon loaf works really well because for one, it sits on the counter, the glaze doesn't melt, nothing goes bad. It's totally fine on the counter for like a week. And that's what you want for cottage bakery rules. Like you can't have stuff that like you could potentially give food poisoning to your customers because I'm cooking from home and 
Nova Scotia does have very good like cottage bakery laws. So like I can sell all of this without an actual like food permit. I have my safe food handler, so like that's one thing, but I don't have like a certified kitchen, right? Part of the rules are like it has to be separate from like your main dwelling. So it's like I could close that door. There's no door there, but it's like it is separate. There's no bedroom in here. There's no living room in here. It's like this is just the kitchen. So that works. And then what I'm baking is particular. So I couldn't sell like prepared food, like meats or like anything like that that has to be refrigerated. I can't sell that because that has like food laws and food guidelines to it. So just have to test the recipes before so I know how they do on the counter and stuff. And I know from like my, my own home, but like need to know. <laughs> like, how many days do I actually have? Um, maybe I should try this cinnamon swirl quick bread. We did those. We didn't do those. We did those. Yeah, I think I'm going to test the cinnamon swirl with the loaf, see how that holds up slicing. And part of me wants to try the sugar cookie bars, but there's like a lot of butter to use for like a test, but. Maybe I do the halfway to heaven bars because those are kind of like a cross between a chocolate chip cookie and like a bar. <laughs> it's a lot less butter. Yeah, half a cup of butter instead of two and a half cups. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do that. And then I don't think I'll do cookies yet today. We do still have banana muffins there. And we do still have some lemon bars. Like we have three left in the fridge, so.
All right, Boop has spotted the bunnies, so he's watching very intently. Hey, here's one, here's two. And I'm gonna start by putting away all these dishes and tackling that pile before starting my next baking project. Now the cinnamon loaf is just baking. I just turned off the light. <laughs> So we'll check on that in a little bit. All right. Hello. Back again. It is still Wednesday, just around 1.20 p.m. Um, the cinnamon loaf is out of the oven. It looks delicious. And it is delicious. Actually, it probably tastes better than it looks. It's kind of just like messy. Like when you try and do a swirl, it's just like cinnamon everywhere. It's delicious though. Um, so that's done. I'm definitely starting to feel quite shaky. Um, in terms of my period coming. So I think I might slow down here in a sec. Um, with that being said, I'm really craving something chocolatey. <laughs> so I kind of want to make a quick batch of brownies. Um, I want to do a chocolate cake, but I just do not have the energy. So brownies are a great secondary option and just as chocolatey. So I think I might do that. And then I was just upstairs starting the first load of laundry in the washing machine so we'll see how that goes how it smells when it comes out did the laundry clean before like the tub clean right before so it should be okay gotta test it sometime um, and then i got thinking so how can i make this more like, efficient in here because there's just a lot of like boxes we haven't really unpacked there because we haven't used the washing machine or anything so there's a little rack out in the sunroom 
that used to be in the bathroom, like it's an above a toilet rack. Um, I'll show you, it just has like a bar, like it sits perfectly. Um, but I think that would work well upstairs. So I might try that right now <laughs> and try and organize that a little bit more. Maybe while the brownies are baking, that's a good thing. And then I'm probably gonna rest. Both the cats are sound asleep. Um, you can see Topaz and he's just passed out and then Boop is in our bed, passed out. So they're good, they're chilling. So yeah, this is probably the last I will chat in this video. I am feeling quite tired. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a great rest of your week. We will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Okay, now I am gonna start a batch of brownies. So I'm just gonna get those in the oven and then I'll probably do that rack thing. And then I'm gonna stop.
So brownies are in the oven, now I'm in the sunroom, and the rack is not that one, but it's right behind it. So I'm going to clear that off and turn it into that. Upstairs.
outfit. Yeah. I think this would be perfect for like laundry stuff. And I can like put little baskets on it, like make it easy. So take this upstairs. See you there.
All that time doing laundry in the kitchen over here. What? All that time doing laundry in the kitchen. Now we're here. Now we're here. We got room for it. A whole separate room. Okay, smells clean. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it comes when it comes. It's not. Realizing everything will get done at some point. 